Hey, Sagittarius, Leos, Aries, the fire signs. Hello, how y'all doing? So this is a collective reading, but also individual for each of the following signs of Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, the fire signs. I hope that this reading finds all of you absolutely well. May you all be protected, peaceful, and prosperous in your journey. And may only the truth resonate in this moment that it may serve towards your highest good with pure intention. Gratitude, Ashe, and amen. Okay. Now, we've been having some deep, deep, deep readings for all the other signs. So I'm very curious to see where we will land for the fire signs. Because y'all are the sign of a blaze, the flame, the fire, the burn. Let it burn, let it burn. So we're going to see. Just listen, just don't, don't, don't burn yourself in the process. Okay, all right, fire signs? But maybe this fine job well for real. Right? So let's see what's going on with the fire signs. We're starting off with the Sagittarius first. My Sagis, my Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius, what's going on here? What's happening? Hey, Sagittarius, I think you'll like your message. Okay, you have the message of that of the altar of earth into limitless prosperity. Okay, okay, here we go. Yes, limitless prosperity. Okay. So listen, the only way that y'all will be able to tap into this frequency and energy of limitless prosperity is for you to claim it. That's the first thing. You have to claim that whatever it is that you are looking to manifest in regards to prosperity, in regards to being able to take care of yourself, you have to claim it, okay? And this is a seed you got to plant within yourself first and foremost. So this is a very high level of abundance, okay? So what happens is right now, y'all got to understand that this is a really good time to get to this. We call, what we call an altar space is like, you can have an altar within yourself. Like if you don't have what it takes to actually build an altar, you know what I'm saying? Like an altar of sorts. Okay. This is about you establishing the altar from within and realizing that your energy is a huge component to what you're trying to manifest. So if you feel like there's something blocking that, this is a good opportunity to get yourself in tune with elements of the earth, you know, getting yourself into some kind of cleansing method, um, working with washing away and banishing any type of poverty, lack, or scarcity. And again, being in the headspace and affirming that you have what it takes and the energy that it takes to establish this limitless prosperity. Work with things and intentions that will help you to further facilitate in making this a reality for yourself. Okay, you have to. This is about your internal belief, claiming what you want. And if you want this wealth, if you want this prosperity, if you want to be abundant, you have to start claiming it. Okay. And also not allowing anyone in your space that's going to take from this energy. You don't want anything that acts as a withdrawal constantly from your bank of life. Okay. You don't, you don't want that. You don't want people that's around that's only going to be present and available to you because they feel like they can get something from you or they look to you as like some kind of cash cow or a bank, whether this is a withdrawal that they're making of an actual personal, you know, like coin, or if this is even just your energy, because something like this end of the day, your energy is very valuable as well. So you got to be careful who you allow to walk within your garden, Sagittarius, and, and call themselves trying to take something from you. Whether this is your energy, your power, or actual, you know, fi financial prosperity. So you got to be very mindful of who you give to, what you're giving to, why you're giving it, and how you're also working with how you're going to receive back what you've given. So this is where you got to work, Sagittarius, with your prosperity energy. You got to analyze some things, you know, make some personal understanding calls to figure out what this is that's possibly blocking this limitless prosperity if you feel like you're struggling right now. But you got to do some introspection. And this is not the time to play games. You got to go full throttle, go hard, or go home, okay? So you got to you got to really tap into that prosperity energy. You got to really work with it so that you can be back where you want to be or get to where you're trying to go in regards to prosperity. OK, now let's get to Leo. Leo. Hello, Leo. Hello, hello, hello. Leo, what is happening with you right now? What's happening? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Leo. Hey, hey, hey. 
them. You got the message of the martyr in regards to sacrifice and self-reflection, okay? This is where you understand the purpose as to why you've been put in a standstill, having to really get still within you. And this is not the time to be doing a whole bunch of anything. This is where you're going to have to possibly not participate in certain things or not go certain places or not be around certain people because... The greater reward comes from you doing this deep in depth work within yourself, Leo. Okay. Sacrifice and self reflection are two very powerful things that any person can do. A lot of times we sacrifice ourselves for other people, we sacrifice ourselves to help other folks, you know what I'm saying? But we don't really take time for ourselves. So at the end of the day, all these sacrifices that you're making, how are you able to? utilize the alchemy of that and also have it help to benefit you in some kind of way okay not saying you're looking for anything in return from anyone but it's like at some point when you are giving of the self is it helping you or is it hindering you and now it's time to understand that the that the, the flowers that you deserve for all that you've done you need to recognize yourself for what things you have done in this season and listen at the end of the at the end of the day, you're being given an opportunity that, listen, a lot of our ancestors didn't have, we weren't given a, they weren't given a grace period to think about things. So let's also think about the sacrifices that our ancestors have made so that we could be in the position that we are. Like this is, this is, you know, as far as the tarot correlation, this correlates to the hangman. It's about stillness. And Grant, you may feel like this standstill is limiting. You may feel it's heavy. Allow yourself to feel whatever this is, because this is a period of sacrifice, but it leads to something greater in the end. And it's all about what you do within this stillness, within this standstill. Like, hold on, to like, pump your brakes for a second. Like, this is the divine saying, you got to pump your brakes right now and get really deep into this and understand there's a reason why you're at this standstill. And once you understand that, then you can push forward. Because if you try to push forward without learning this lesson or without understanding the depth of what it is you're going through, you're going to keep repeating certain cycles and things are going to keep going a certain way. Some of y'all need to let go and just stop. Some of y'all need to understand that you know not not everybody can go with you, not everybody deserves to go with you. Like especially if you know that you've had to sacrifice a lot more than what other folks have done for you. So sacrifice and self reflection is your message, Leo. You, you there's a reason why you're at the stance. So there's a reason why you're sitting back and and actually smelling the flowers right now and just being content with where you are because this this is what it needs to be until it's time for you to get to that next stage. But please reflect, dig deep, and get to where you need to be because. Your sacrifice during this time will not be in vain, okay? And even when it feels hard, continue to plant within yourself in this time. You know, say positive things to yourself. Pray a little bit more. Meditate on what it is that you want to see going forward. But don't think for one second that this standstill is forever. It's literally being done right now to, in some ways, protect you. Sometimes you're being put at a standstill so that whatever was trying to reach you as you're trying to get to where you're trying to go, can move ahead and find another target. So don't even think that the stance may be something that is about, you know, you per se. It could be that you're being protected from getting to a specific level so that whatever needs to pass can pass. And then when it's, when it's finally time for you to get there, it will be clear sailing. Okay. Aries, what you got going on? Okay. All right, Aries, hello, how you doing? Hey, hold on, y'all. Hold on, Aries, I'm sorry. Good. All right, so Aries, you have the message of the shaman which is to trust the path that you are on. Trust the path. Now, there was another one that came out, and that was in regards to that of inspired action as well. But I had to unstick it, you know what I'm saying? So let me just say something. Inspired action and trusting the path, okay, are the two things. I was guided that y'all needed a little bit more of an oomph, okay? So trust the path. You're on this path for a reason, Aries. There's a reason why you're on this path that you're on, but you just have to trust it right now. I know you may not understand everything that's happening. You, you may be a little confused, but your path is not confused about you. Let's make that very clear. Your path is not confused about you. 
You may be confused as to what you're supposed to do. You may not know what you have to do, but just keep going. Keep your faith going during this time too, okay? Like don't lose sight and don't, don't lose faith just because things may seem a little confusing, things may seem a little bit out of turn. Don't give in to that, okay? Just trust the process of what this is. Only the divine knows why these things have happened and why you may be in this specific headspace or position right now. But just know, when it comes to that of shaman energy, that's a very powerful energy that is surrounding you right now, okay? So don't think that you are alone by any means because you're not. Even if you don't, even if you don't have anybody physically around you, you're not alone. Okay. But trust where you are going, trust where you are headed. Okay. It's all going to make sense in the end. And when you finally do see what this lesson was, and you do see why you had to go through this particular, you know, space and time in this in your present world, it'll all come together. But you have to keep an open mind, okay. You have to keep an open mind by all means. If you at any point, this is for any of y'all that's seeing this, okay. If at any point you feel like it's getting a little bit too heavy, you need guidance, feel free, feel free to talk to your higher power. Feel feel free to talk to God. Feel free to tap your angels and your ancestors into the conversation. Be like, hey, I need some understanding, even if it's just a little bit, and just always be with me as I go through this. You know what I'm saying? And and trust me, your intentions are good. They it will be heard, okay. But now let's get to your collective message, okay. Fire signs collective message from the uh, divine ascended masters. What y'all got going on? Let's see what's happening. Mm -mm. All right. Fire signs collective message for all of you. Where will it be? Confirmation is a beautiful thing. Y'all got the message of initiatory experience, okay? And this is in regards to knowing that your current situation is initiating your gifts. Whatever y'all are going through right now, fire sign is, is literally making it to where you tap more into who and what you are. You have to go through this to really reach the height and the potency of what you are capable of doing. So don't think for one second, again, there's a reason why all this stuff is happening, okay? There's a reason why you may feel like you're blocking. There, there, there may be a need for you to step it up a little bit, you know? There may be a need for you to really tap in a little bit more. There may be a reason as to why you have to really deeply trust right now. Because this is all about you getting, really putting that fire to use. Let me say that again. Putting your fire to use, fire. So you got to really use that. That is a very strong element to work with. Fire does what? It lights up a room with a candle flame. Fire helps for you to prepare the things that you need. Utilizing your element is a huge portion as to what's going to make you all the more proud. So if you can find different ways to work with that, please do. Okay? But you are the author of this story, and your story has not yet concluded. So please, 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 please trust the process and go through what this period of time is, but you will get to where it is you need to go. But work with establishing and understanding within yourself, do what needs to be done and everything will work in your favor. If you need to get in contact with me, please know that my information of contact will be under the description of this video. And I really do hope that this message has found y'all absolutely well. And until next time, I'm Tierra Latrice, the Oracle. I will talk to y'all again soon. Later y'all.